breaking news. The Hubble Space Telescope has caught its first glimpse of Comet 3I Atlas. If you follow literary news, you must have heard the name 3I Atlas recently. This strange interstellar object was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Robotic Telescope. And now on July 21st, Hubble spots interstellar invader Comet 3I Atlas for the first time. As you can see in the Hubble image, there is a bright, puffy cloud around the comet's center called the coma. This coma is made of gas and dust coming off the comet as it heats up near the sun. The comet's icy core is releasing this material, which creates the glowing cloud visible in the picture. Some streaks on the image are caused by cosmic rays hitting the camera, but they do not hide the comet's shape. Despite some streaks, the overall image quality is high, allowing scientists to study the comet with great clarity. This image helps scientists understand what the comet is made of and how it behaves as it moves through our solar system. The fact that the comet has this big fuzzy coma shows it is very active, like other comets we have seen. But this one comes from outside our solar system, making it very special and rare. In addition, there is also an interesting point a slight elongation along the object's direction of travel. However, this elongation is not evidence of its cometary tail, but is due to multiplying the object's 60 kilometers per second speed by the telescope's 100 second exposure time. The result of this exposure time and the 3 I Atlas's speed gives a scale of about 6,000 kilometers, comparable to the radius of the Earth. More weird spectroscopic data on 3I Atlas have not revealed spectral features of cometary gas. When scientists use spectroscopy to study 3I Atlas, they shine light through the comet's gas and dust and look at the colors, or spectrum, that come out. Normally, comets show specific colors in their spectra caused by gases like water vapor, carbon dioxide, or other chemicals. These colors reveal what gases the comet is releasing. But in the case of 3I Atlas, the spectroscopic data don't show any of these usual gas signatures. Instead, the data mainly shows sunlight bouncing off lots of dust, or maybe the comet's solid surface, like a dusty snowball reflecting light. This is strange because typical comets have visible gas emissions when near the sun. So, the unusual lack of gas signatures makes 3I Atlas an odd and mysterious object to scientists, raising questions about its nature and origin. Interestingly, Hubble wasn't actually the first to snap images of this object. That credit goes to the Rubin Observatory, which happened to capture high-resolution shots of 3I Atlas, making them the earliest and most detailed images we've seen so far. Scientists were able to dig up detections of the object from Rubin's observations between June 21st and July 7, 2025, starting 10 days before it was even discovered. Out of 49 pictures taken of 3I Atlas, the scientists used 37 of them to study exactly where the object is in space, how bright it is, and what it's like. They looked at the object using three different colors of light called R, I and Z bands. The scientists were able to measure the position very precisely, about 20 milliard seconds, which means very tiny angles in the sky. They also measured the brightness very carefully, with an accuracy of about 10 millimagnitudes, which means very small changes in how bright the object looks. Just like the Hubble images, the Rubin observations confirmed that 3I Atlas is an active comet. It's showing all the classic signs, a growing coma, and an expanding cloud of gas and dust surrounding its nucleus. In fact, the size of this cloud increased by more than 50% during the observation window, as the comet moved closer to the Sun. The study found that this object has a V-band absolute magnitude, which is a way to measure how bright it really is, of about 13.7, with a little bit of uncertainty plus or minus 0.2. They also estimated that the nucleus is about 5.6 kilometers wide, with a small uncertainty of plus or minus 0.7 kilometers. This means it's the biggest interstellar object we've ever seen pass through our solar system.
But here's something really rare for a comet. 3i Atlas has a tail that points toward the sun. That's unusual since most comet tails point away from the sun, thanks to radiation pressure. Scientists think this odd feature might be due to what's called anisotropic dust emission. Basically, dust getting pushed off mainly from the sunlit side of the comet, the authors of the new paper revealed. While such a morphology is certainly unusual, given that dust tails are typically directed anti-solar due to radiation pressure acting on dust grains, it is not without precedent among distant active bodies. This kind of behavior has been seen before, like in Comet C 2014-UN-271. Additional models of 3i Atlas suggest that if the comet's dust were being ejected evenly in all directions, the tail would point away from the sun. But because it's pointing toward the sun, that strongly hints at anisotropic dust emission, where heated material lifts off mainly from the sun-facing side. There's another possible explanation. Maybe the sunward tail is caused by gas jets being released from the comet. But in the case of 3i Atlas, spectroscopic data collected on July 3, 2025, didn't show any signs of gas emissions. So for now, the dust explanation seems to be the best fit. Is the Comet 3i Atlas a piece of alien technology? A question that sounds like it belongs in a science fiction movie is now being discussed at the forefront of space discussions by Abraham, Avi Loeb, Baird Professor of Science and Director of the Institute at Harvard University. 3. II Soi Atlas is hurtling toward the solar system at a speed of 152,000 miles per hour, 66 kilometers per second. That's way faster than the 42 kilometers per second it needs to break free from the sun's gravitational grip. It's going so fast that the sun can't hold on to it, so clearly it didn't come from around here. Instead of orbiting the sun like planets or regular comets do, it's on a hyperbolic trajectory, a one-way ticket through our solar system, never to return. Its hyperbolic orbit suggests it is an object from outside the solar system, similar to two previously recorded interstellar objects, Oumuamua, 2017, and Borisov, 2019. Particularly, it comes from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation, near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. When first spotted, it was about 410 million miles, 670 million kilometers, from the Sun, somewhere near Jupiter's orbit. However, 3i Atlas is unusually bright despite being about 490 million kilometers from Earth. Based on the amount of light it reflects, scientists estimate its diameter to be up to 20 kilometers, 100 to 200 times larger than the estimated length of Oumuamua and 50 to 100 times larger than the core of Comet Borisov. If both are rocky, the mass of 3i Atlas far exceeds that of its two predecessors, even more than 10 million times larger than Oumuamua. Professor Avi Loeb believes that the probability of detecting such a large asteroid within the current observation range is extremely low, only about 0.0001. For comparison, the meteorite that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago was only half that size. The initial hypothesis highlighted that if there is no tail, we are faced with the tantalizing possibility that it is a product of technological design and has been sent to the solar system by an unknown civilization. But in fact, observations, including those from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory and the Hubble Space Telescope, show that it does have a tail and a dense dust cloud. So, the claims of an alien technology are considered largely speculative and have not been peer-reviewed. Most experts see Loeb's alien technology theory as a thought experiment rather than a conclusion, emphasizing that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, which is currently lacking for 3i Atlas. Another question, does it threaten the Earth? Scientists insist that 3i Atlas poses no danger. The object will pass closest to the Sun on October 30th, about 240 million kilometers from Earth at that time. 
This phenomenon is attracting the attention of not only scientists, but also amateur astronomers around the world, including observer Tony Dunn, who was the first to share the orbital data of 3i Atlas on social media. This is the third time that humanity has recorded an interstellar object passing through the solar system but it is also the first time that the hypothesis of the possibility of an alien spacecraft has been seriously mentioned in the scientific community. So, what's your take? Either a natural interstellar comet or a purposeful alien probe? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you loved this deep dive, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. We're aiming for 150,000 subscribers, and we need you to get there. Previously, Avi Loeb also stirred debate when he proposed that Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object, might actually be an alien artifact. His claims were considered speculative and weren't widely accepted by the scientific community, and most of them didn't hold up. But since Oumuamua has now left the solar system, many of those lingering questions will never be answered. Still, Loeb has continued to build his reputation on that alien artifact theory even launching the Galileo Project, which is dedicated to searching for technological signs of alien life. Back in October 2017, a postdoctoral researcher named Robert Warrick at the University of Hawaii was combing through data from the Pan-STARRS Sky Survey when he spotted something strange. It looked like a long, stick-like object. Its length was about 10 times its width, something never seen before in an asteroid. Some scientists theorized it had been flung toward our solar system by the gravitational forces of a binary star system. Others thought it might be a very strange type of comet, although it didn't have a visible tail. That kicked off a race to gather and study as much data as possible before the object left our solar system for good. Right after observing its unusual shape, researchers noted that such a design would be perfect for an interstellar spacecraft it would help reduce damage from gas and dust during travel through space. That possibility sparked a wave of excitement and debate. In the end, most scientists settled on the conclusion that it was naturally occurring rather than artificial. But Loeb, former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, remains convinced it was something like a light sail, a spacecraft propelled by starlight and possibly made by an advanced alien civilization. He even wrote an entire book laying out his theory. That book, Extraterrestrial, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth, argues that the scientific community's reluctance to seriously consider extraterrestrial explanations has stifled meaningful inquiry into the possibility that Oumuamua was an alien-made light sail. Loeb describes Oumuamua as a missed opportunity for science and calls for academia to invest more heavily in the search for life beyond Earth. He also makes a broader point that at a time when Earth faces serious crises like climate change, discovering intelligent life elsewhere could be a transformative moment, perhaps even one that helps save humanity from itself.